It is 2023 and we are making our first steps in starting out as a level one in GTA Online. But this series is going to be different because I'm going to let a wheel determine what I am going to do in order to make money in GTA Online. So today in this video, I'm going to be spinning a wheel to determine what I'm going to buy in GTA Online and how I'm going to make money. So welcome to Loser to Luxury and without further ado, let's just jump into it. So to catch you up on last episode, I started out as a level one. I created my character i did all the introduction missions and then i did the first dose missions in gta online just to kind of get me started and right now i have five hundred and eight thousand dollars in my bank account now i really didn't show me doing the first dose missions too much and i think a lot of people got frustrated with that i'll just sum it up really quickly <laughs> it took me i think like three to four hours or something like that to do all the first dose missions it was a complete struggle some of them were not bad at all i could do pretty easily and then just some of them like the third one and the final one off the rails those were the two toughest ones so i had to do like three separate recording sessions just to finish that up that is was not expecting that at all but anyways from here on out i'm going to show you everything that i do in order to make money for that episode i think some people are confused by this series this is not a normal story starting from level one series in GTA Online. What most people do, it is not just one YouTuber, by the way, it is a ton of people do this. The YouTubers that do starting from level one series, they try to do it the most optimal way possible. We are not gonna do the most optimal way to make money in GTA Online. The wheel that I have created right here is gonna determine exactly how we're gonna make money. When you have money, you need to spend it on something. And we need a goal to work towards to spend our money on. And I have two different wheels right here that we're going to alternate between in future episodes i'm going to show you first this wheel right here which this wheel is the wheel of luxury now all of these items on the wheel of luxury are items that pretty much are not going to give me that much return on investment i'll just quickly go through all these right here i have buy the latest drip feed vehicle eclipse custom tower buy a plane a minimum of one million dollars a buzzard most expensive clothing item a mark ii presser a kind you drag and cmt rc bandito armored karuma emeris vigilante buy every gun and max it out not including the mark ii weapons a penthouse arena war buy a boat buy whatever i want that's at least one million dollars upgrade a business fully a presser mark one and a hot ring sabre turbo but we're not going to mess with that wheel today we are going to start out on another wheel because we need to make some money in gta online we need there's not a ton of ways right now that i can make good money in gta and i want to give myself some more options so i have another wheel just for that and it's called the wheel of businesses and i'll go through the, all the options right here i have the acid lab which now i can do after i did the first dose missions i have an arcade i can buy auto shop bunker hangar office building facility methodology lab grass lab document forgery counterfeit cash a cassatka nightclub and an agency now obviously i think the jackpot on this wheel is probably going to be the cassatka for obvious reasons the caprico heist is the easiest way to make money so i just listed off everything so i will spend this wheel and let's just say it lands on a facility right well then we're gonna work our butts off in order to buy a facility and nothing else so that is the only thing that we can buy that is the next thing we have to buy and then i have this wheel right here in order for us to make money and i'll just go over all the options really quickly so we have flight school vip work play other people's heist by random it's a random choice double action revolver stone hatchet navy revolver those three you kind of go on a scavenger hunt to find these weapons and then you get like a you get like a bonus for a completing an objective with it play future job one to three hours spin the casino wheel and spin this wheel again max and sell my coca-cola factory ulp missions original heist full against jobs junk energy jumps for two days destroys 25 snowmen and spin again it's only eligible for this episode because the snow is going to melt after this episode collect signal jammers ld organic collectibles playing cards action figures and movie props mc clubhouse contracts and and this one right here the probably the jackpot of this wheel and it's free to do whatever but fall guys determines 
I land on this wheel, I'll start out with 15 minutes. I'm gonna play one match of Fall Guys, and for every round I qualify, I get an extra 15 minutes. So let's just say I qualify the first round, but I don't qualify the second round, I get 30 minutes. And then if I win it all, I get three hours. All right, hopefully that makes sense. But, but right now, before we spin the wheel of making money, we're gonna spin the wheel of businesses to see what we're gonna have to work towards in these first few episodes. All right, so right now I'm at the wheel of businesses. So I'm gonna spin this wheel and whatever it lands on, we're gonna have to work towards. So here we go. I've been excited to spin this. All right, here we go. It's going. What are we going to land on? And we are going to get, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. It's not the best, but that's a pretty good one. We get the agency. Wow. Okay. Okay. So we have to work towards buying an agency. Let's just look at our options really quick for the agency. Hold on. I, I don't see any agencies. Oh, I'm being stupid. Isn't it on executive? Aha. It is on executive. Okay. All right. So this is probably one of the more expensive ones on this list, but that's okay. And this one, Little Soul is going to be the cheapest it is going to be for a minimum of two million in ten thousand dollars vehicle workshop though we're, this one's kind of important oh good lord it's eight hundred thousand oh no we're not going to do the vehicle workshop we're going to get this base right here so essentially we got to work towards two million and ten thousand dollars okay so that is our goal honestly i like that i really like that agency is good it's probably one of the best money making methods we have and there's multiple money making methods there's like three different money making methods from the agency that's actually really really good that's going to give us a lot of options but first we need to get money to get that so we need to go to the wheel of making money so here i am at the wheel of making money let's just spin this wheel and let's see what it's going to land on all right what it's spinning what are we going to get okay 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 double action revolver okay this is probably one of the best things to do as an early level but it's not going to give us enough to get the agency so if you don't know much about the double action revolver there's like a little scavenger hunt that they introduced in gta online to promote red dead redemption 2 and once you do get the double action revolver you can do an objective to get an extra like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, i think it is so that's what we're gonna do and this is only a one-time spin one once we do this, this wheel spin is going to be taken off the wheel because we can't do this over. Another thing I need to clarify before I really jump into this, I'm going to do everything in a public session. I'm not going to take the easy route for this. Holy crap, there's a guy getting in my vehicle. Okay. All right, whatever. So a guy's getting in my vehicle. All right, so in order to in the world i'm trying to speak here anyways in order to start this up you need to get this email right here from vanderlind that's titled treasure hunt so now we need to go here and we need to reveal the location of the treasure and where is this location oh good good mount chiliad that is fantastic all right oh, i got a little bit of a hike to do <laughs> uh see you when i get to mount chiliad Dude, I can't get up this part of the mountain. I'm on night. No, no, you're not going off the mountain. No, no. Good lord. Oh my god. Maybe I should just title this video. Um, a level one tries to climb Mount Chiliad. Good lord. Okay, honestly, I did not think I was gonna speak until I got to the top of the mountain because I didn't think it was gonna be tough with the night shark. I put off-roading wheels on this too, so it should be better. No, up, 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 up. Nope, I'm up, up the mountain. Up the mountain. No, you're going down. You're going down. Probably not a good idea to do this in the snow. But the wheel spin said I was gonna do it, so. Am I good now? Come on, night shark, night shark. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, good, good. Okay, okay. Whew. Strike. Dude, where is the location? That is another thing. Because it's not actually like on top of the mountain. It's off to the side a little bit. What, how am I going to get there? safely and in two like exactly where is it there's like a bubble but like i don't know just come on slowly down the mountain let's just go to the left left right. it should be it should be somewhere in here where is this this i'm a little oh, oh wait, 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 wait please please no no can we get oh good lord oh good lord this is gonna be an avalanche it is it's gonna be an avalanche oh my god this is annoying we're going we're going down we're we're going to i'm trying to say 
It's 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 pointless. It's pointless. Uh, we're going down. Good lord. I thought this was gonna be a little easier. I am not going to lie. I will go pick up a helicopter. Luckily, there's a helicopter spawn at Polito Bay. There is a helicopter right here. There's a guy following me. I think he's friendly. Not 100% sure. I guess we have someone that's gonna hold my hand throughout this. Thank you. I appreciate it. He's probably so lost what I'm doing. Oh, wait. Is it up here? Dude, where is this? You know what? I'm just gonna park it and I'm gonna watch a video. This is... This is gonna take too long. Or should I just walk on foot? If I can find a good place to land and then walk on foot, I'd maybe do that. Okay. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna land, like, right here. Is that safe? Uh, safe enough. Okay. Hold on. I need to look at the need to look at this thing again. See, we're supposed to find a picture of this, right? But then this photo is on top of the mountain. And we're supposed to search down here. So I don't know like an exact location. Okay, I'm gonna hop down here. Okay, good. Good. Oh yeah, I just realized, dude, look at me. I'm barefoot. I'm barefoot walking in the snow right now. I'm built different. Even buy shoes. Uh oh. No, no, no. Get up. Get up. No, no. No, slow down, slow down. <gasps> yes. Okay. All I see is just steep mountain. Oh, good lord. Oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Yeah, we're going down. Oh, yeah, we're dead. Ouch. Oh, no way. No way. There's multiple locations, and I think I got the worst one. <laughs> Where am I supposed to find it? On the edge of a cliff. I just dropped my controller. Dude, how how am I going to look this up now? There's 20 different locations. How, this is going to be tough. I'm so lost. I am really just lost right now. I Even looking this up is, like, confusing. Well, I actually kind of looked up something, and it said it was on top of the mountain. If it's on top of the mountain, that is so frustrating. Okay, yeah, we're dead. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go down to the base of the mountain. All right, I finally made it to the base of the mountain. Now nah, I just got to get a helicopter. <laughs> and fly all the way back up there. I need your car. Oh, okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Run me over. This guy is flying towards me again. Can you actually help me? Yeah, okay, I'll get in. Um, But you're gonna take me to the top of the mountain, please. Dude, I don't know who this guy is. I don't know if this guy, like, knows me or not, but I mean, he, he's, he's kind of being chill. Use the photograph in this email to identify the location of the Trevor. Trevor. Good lord, I'm an idiot. The treasure. And yeah, I can find that exact location. I have a good idea where that is. Okay, okay, this is good. Thank you, thank you. Let me out, let me out. Oh, it's here. Uh-huh, investigate the clue. Treasure tore our family apart. It ain't here no more. I moved it. You effers will never find it. Treasure hunt is on. Investigate all the clues to find the treasure. I feel like a pirate right now. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. The treasure has been moved. Oh, oh, that was supposed to be like the old treasure spot. Like this spot that I was just falling down the mountain at. Okay. So now I gotta go to these three locations. Okay, cool. No, I don't want to cheese. I don't want to use that guy again. I feel bad. I feel like that's cheesing a little bit. Using people that are friendly to my advantage. I mean, yeah, that's probably smart. All right, I'm jumping off. All right, so I am going to land on the road somewhere. Oh, wait, I should, like, make it a little easier on myself. I'm going to go this way. Oh, no. Shoot. I landed. I didn't mean to land. If I remember correctly. Oh, that is so clutch. There's a parachute right here. I had, I forgot about that. Yes. Another parachute. That is so clutch. Okay, good. Okay, that is such an annoying sound. I don't know what is happening. Oh, okay, it went away. Okay. Whew. All right, I finally landed. Let me call in my personal vehicle. Too far from a pseudo... What? what do you mean too far from a suitable road? Okay, I'm on. Isn't yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, this is a suitable road, idiot. All right, well here is my night shark. Now I gotta go to these question marks. Oh wait, oh it is on the tree. I walked up to the tree. Oh, I see it. Okay, give me the thing. Oh, an empty gun case. Oh, wow. What? One out of three clues discovered. Oh, it's getting louder. It has to be in here. Has to be. Oh, okay. Where's the clue? Why did you? Why did you just jump over the couch? Investigate. Oh, a shovel! Wow, wow, that that's intense. Wow. What? 
two out of three clues discovered. I need to investigate one more clue. And oh my god, that is so far away. Oh lord. Huh. Well, let's let's have a hike. Let's do a hike. All right. So I'm into the area, and I need to search it, dude. Oh no. Why does it have to be on? I think it's on top of this mountain. Dude, it doesn't help when there's a vehicle near me just I I'm so lost cuz it's not this way. It, it's closer to the base of the mountain. But I don't know if it's actually at the base of the mountain. I just missed it the first time. Dude, I can't listen with that freaking crap in my ear. Okay, it's like loud though in here. Oh my god, there's a cave. Oh my god, there's a cave. Whatever. A bloody head. Whoa, boom. <laughs> Three out of three clues discovered. The final location of the Trevor has been revealed. Go there to unlock the chest and collect your reward. Ooh. So I'm gonna get back in my night shark and drive some more. What kind of location is this? It is a weird spot to bury some treasure, but whatever, it's fine, it's fine. I have made it close to the treasure. Oh my God, there is a dead body. Okay, there's a dead body. Oh, two dead bodies. But oh, there's a chest. All right, here we go. Oh wow, look, a chest. Open. <gasps> a double action revolver. What? Oh. Oh yeah, we're just, yeah, we're just holding it in the air, uh, invisibly. Which? You have now found the double action revolver. Okay, cool. I have the double action revolver. Um, let me confirm that I have to get like headshots. Yeah, get 50 headshots with the double action revolver to unlock GTA um, money rewards and exclusive variation of the revolver and Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, I don't care about the Red Dead part. So I gotta get headshots and uh, I'm gonna make my way to the Del Perro Pier and I'm gonna have a fun time getting some headshots. Oh, you wanna stare? Are you, you're giving me a, you're giving me a bad Bad look. You give me a bad look. Both of you. Bop. Oh my god, I missed. That's embarrassing. Okay, that's one. Two. Okay, cool. Yeah, I probably won't show y'all too much of this because it's just gonna be me, you know, destroying NPCs like that. You kidding me? The gooch again? Okay, I didn't kill him. Dude! Gooch! Die! Oh my god, he's getting away, like actually. Oh my god, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna have to snipe him. Okay, yeah, I had to do that. <laughs> I had to do that. Okay, so I already, already have the mask for the gooch. What do I get now? I got money. I got money. Dude, where is everyone? Everyone literally just left. Wait, I hear someone playing the guitar, though. <laughs> of course it's only the guy playing the guitar. Sorry, I had to do that. I have to do it. All right, 20 headshots remaining. I think this is a pretty good spot. I have overhead protection from helicopters. All right, 10 headshots remaining. Yeah, this spot, this spot's really clutch. Just ignore like the big blood stain on my shirt. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Double action revolver headshot challenge complete. This exclusive weapon has been unlocked in Red Dead Redemption 2. Your maze bank account has been credited with $250,000. And that is a lie. I know. It is not. <laughs> it actually is not. This is a little concerning. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. They didn't lie this time. Okay. All right. So now I have $781,000 after doing the double action revolver challenge and the gooch attacking me. Well, I'm actually gonna do one more thing before I end off this video. All right, so it's past eight o'clock in GTA Online. And what I wanna do before the end of this video is do the Weasel Plaza shootout. And there's nothing here. Oh, there we go. I think it spawned in. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah. So the Weasel Plaza shootout is going on now. I'm interested to see the rewards. Honestly, I haven't even done this on my main account. Yeah. Oh, look, there we go. Oh, 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 okay. Dude, what in the world? Okay, what are, I just want to get this, this weapon or whatever, and that's all I want to do. Okay, yeah, you're dead. You're dead. This is the guy with the gun. That guy's dead. I need to take out this guy so I can just do my thing freely. Collect the pistol. Yep, just walk. Yeah, no, no, keep walking into the ledge. It's fine. It's fine. You're doing good. You're fine. There we go. We unlock the weapon. Okay, there we go. Now we have the WM29 pistol. Yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to do. Oh, good lord. I'm gonna get a bounty. Dude, I stole a vehicle. Now I have a bounty. Dude. Well, I mean, I'm pretty much gonna end this episode, like, 
very, very soon. But that might carry on in the next episode, and some guy might run after me. Well, after today and all the work that we've done, we have a total of $780,000, along with two new pistols, a double action revolver, and a WM29 pistol. It's a decent start, but we can do better. I think we can do better, but that is all gonna be determined by the wheel.